Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. 1996 was a big year for video games. Nintendo rolled out the Nintendo 64 home console and changed the landscape of video games forever with the release of Super Mario 64. The year also saw the introduction of other iconic games like Diablo, Tomb Raider, Quake, Crash Bandicoot, and Resident Evil. But arguably one of the biggest game launches of 1996 came on the Nintendo Game Boy handheld device, and it came in two versions, red and green. Created by Satoshi Tajiri, Pokemon is an abbreviated version of the original Japanese title, Pocket Monsters. Initially released in Japan on February 27, 1996, Pocket Monsters Red and Green was the spark that ignited the raging flame that is the Pokemon franchise today. Later that same year, on October 15th, Japan received a special edition of the game, Pocket Monsters Blue. Also in October of 1996, the Pokemon trading card game first debuted in Japan, published by Media Factory. In 1997, the Pokemon anime series premiered in Japan with the Indigo League saga. The first season of this now iconic show introduced Ash Ketchum, the spunky, aspiring Pokemon trainer from Pallet Town, setting out to become a Pokemon master. Then on July 18, 1998, Pokemon the first movie, Mewtwo Strikes Back, was released in Japan. The film was directed by Kunihiko Yuyama, the chief director of the Pokemon anime TV series. Mewtwo Strikes Back marked the first theatrical release in the Pokemon franchise. On August 1, 1998, Japan received the first home console Pokemon game, Pocket Monsters Stadium. The spin-off strategy game featured a turn-based battling system and was the first time Pokemon were displayed in 3D. Originally planned as a launch title for the Nintendo 64 DD, it was later downsized to a standard Nintendo 64 game due to the Nintendo 64 DD's failed launch. The game also only featured 42 of the then-existing 151 Pokemon. While this version of the game only ever released in Japan, it did spark the now-beloved Pokemon Stadium series later on. But then came September of 1998. On September 8th, the English-dubbed version of the Pokemon anime series premiered in the US on Kids WB. A few days later, on September 12th, the Pokemon Yellow game released in Japan as an enhanced version of Red and Blue. The new version of the game loosely followed the story of the Pokemon anime series, with the player receiving a wild-caught Pikachu that refuses to evolve as their starter Pokemon from Professor Oak. Then, on September 28th, the Pokemon Red and Blue games finally made their way to North America. In December of 1998, the Pokemon trading card game also made its way to the United States, published by Wizards of the Coast. That same month, a virtual pet spin-off game called Hey You Pikachu released in Japan for the Nintendo 64. The game was a first, and really an only of its kind experience on the Nintendo 64 console. Using the bundled microphone peripheral, players could actually speak and give commands to Pikachu in-game. 1998 was obviously massive for Pokemon, but also for Nintendo, as they rolled out the new Game Boy Color handheld device worldwide to close out the year. Game Boy Color. Get into it. Get into it. In 1999, the Nintendo 64 started to get its first true dose of Pokemon Fever. Pokemon Snap, a spin-off Pokemon photography game, released for the home console on March 21st, 1999 in Japan, and later that summer in North America. On April 30th, 1999, the Stadium series received a bit of a reboot when Pokemon Stadium, or Pokemon Stadium 2 as they knew it, released for Japanese Nintendo 64 consoles. 
Remember, Japan had already seen a Pocket Monster Stadium game a few years prior, but this new rendition included all 151 first-generation Pokémon. This version of Pokémon Stadium also went on to become the first game in the Pokémon Stadium series to release outside of Japan. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. On October 19th, 1999, Pokémon Yellow finally arrived on the original Game Boy handheld in North America. A month later, Pokémon's second generation began, but only in Japan. In November of 1999, the next installment of the main Pokemon game series released for Japanese Game Boy Colors, Pokemon Gold and Silver. These new games boasted an additional 100 Pokemon, from Chikorita to Celebi, and brought the grand total to 251 Pokemon in existence. The game release dates again lagged behind in international markets, finally arriving in North America on October 14, 2000. The year 2000 also finally marked the worldwide release of the long-awaited Nintendo 64 game, titled simply Pokemon Stadium, to everyone outside of Japan. On November 6, 2000, North America received the Hey You Pikachu game for the Nintendo 64. A month later, Japan received the Pokemon Crystal Game, an enhanced version of Gold and Silver for the Game Boy Color. Also in Japan that same month, Pokemon Stadium Gold and Silver, later to be known as Pokemon Stadium 2 throughout the rest of the world, released for the Nintendo 64. Outside of Japan, North America, and frankly the rest of the world, was still trying to catch up with the craze to catch them all. The Pokemon Stadium 2 game released for the Nintendo 64 in North America on March 26, 2001. Okay, time out. By now you're probably starting to see the trend. For the most part, all Pokemon media, including the games, movies, and the anime TV show, have always premiered first in Japan. So to simplify the timeline here and make it a bit more linear, we're going to focus more strictly on North American release dates from here on out. It should also be noted that although not every season of the Pokemon anime TV series is being listed along the timeline here, the TV show too has always coincided with the evolving games, and even more so with the continuing movie franchise. And as new Pokemon were added to this expanded Pokeverse, they were also reflected in the Pokemon trading card game. Okay, time back in. On July 29, 2001, the Pokemon Crystal game arrived in North America for the Game Boy Color. On November 16, 2001, Nintendo launched the smallest game system it ever produced with interchangeable cartridges, packed full of Pokemon-themed minigames. The device was appropriately named the Pokemon Mini and came in a variety of Pokemon-inspired color options, such as Wooper Blue, Chikorita Green, and Smoochum Purple. Generation 3, of course, launched first in Japan in 2002, but made it to North America on March 18th, 2003, with the release of the Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire games for the Game Boy Advance. The third generation of Pokemon introduced another 135 creatures, from Trico to Deoxys bringing the grand total now to 386 existing Pokémon. While not technically a sequel to the N64's Hey You Pikachu, the Nintendo GameCube home console received its own virtual pet-like spin-off game titled Pokémon Channel on December 1, 2003. Then, on March 22, 2004, the GameCube received a 3D RPG Pokémon spin-off game titled Pokémon Coliseum. The summer of 2004 brought with it the first ever set of main series game remakes. On September 7th, the Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green games launched for the Game Boy Advance. As you can imagine, Fire Red and Leaf Green were enhanced remakes of the original Pokemon Red and Blue games. They were notably the first enhanced remakes in what would become a long-standing line of enhanced remakes throughout the Pokémon franchise. Gen 3 wasn't done yet, though. On May 1st, 2005, an enhanced version of the Pokémon Ruby and Sapphire games, titled Pokémon Emerald, released on the Game Boy Advance. 
On October 3rd, the GameCube received the successor to Pokemon Coliseum, another 3D RPG spin-off game titled Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Much like many of the home console Pokemon games before it, Gale of Darkness allowed players to connect, trade, and battle using the current generation handheld titles of the main game series. Then, 2006 marked the beginning of the fourth Pokemon generation in North America, and with it came the introduction of another 107 Pokemon, from Turtwig to Arceus. The existence of Pokemon was now 493 species strong. On October 30th, the Pokemon franchise took to the new Nintendo DS handheld console with a unique new spin-off game, Pokemon Ranger. The game utilized the DS's signature touchscreen and stylus to replace the traditional Pokeball capturing mechanic. Instead, players used the new Capture Styler device in-game to calm and control wild Pokemon. A month later, the Nintendo DS and its predecessor, the Game Boy Advance, simultaneously received the first two entries in another spin-off Pokemon game series, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Red Rescue Team, and Blue Rescue Team. On April 22nd, 2007, the latest main games in the Pokemon series released on the Nintendo DS, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Between the aforementioned spin-off games and the bounty of main series games landing on the system, the Nintendo DS era of Pokemon was considerably long. On June 25th, 2007, Pokemon Battle Revolution made its North American debut on the motion controller-helmed home console, the Nintendo Wii. Battle Revolution was the successor to the Pokemon Stadium series, offering very similar gameplay, but on a larger scale and with a larger library of Pokemon. The game not only represented the first Pokemon game to release on the Wii system, but was also the first Wii game ever to utilize Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. On June 9, 2008, Pokemon debuted in its first WiiWare downloadable game for the Nintendo Wii console, My Pokemon Ranch. The game linked with the current generation of Pokemon handheld games to render the player's Pokemon in 3D, and to allow the player to interact with their Pokemon using their Mii characters. On March 22nd, 2009, an enhanced version of the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl games released on the Nintendo DS titled Pokemon Platinum. On August 4th, 2009, the Nintendo Wii received a three-piece set of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games exclusively in Japan. The WiiWare titles included Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Advance Fire Adventure Team, Go Storm Adventure Team, and AIM Light Adventure Team. On November 16th, 2009, Pokemon Rumble released in North America as a WiiWare downloadable game. On March 14th, 2010, the Nintendo DS received a duo of enhanced main series game remakes, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, revisiting the Pokemon Gold and Silver games from the Game Boy Color era, but also including features from the Pokemon Crystal game. November 1st, 2010 brought another entry to the Wii's catalog of Pokemon spin-off games, Poke Park Wii Pikachu's Adventure. The game featured a wide array of minigames that helped to progress the story, all while utilizing the Wii's motion controls. While the game received mixed reviews, it did spawn a sequel titled Poke Park 2 Wonders Beyond, which released for the Wii two years later. With it dawned the fifth Pokemon generation. Introducing 156 more Pokemon from Victini to Genesect, the newly established 649 Pokemon species count hit the main game series with Pokemon Black and White, releasing in North America on March 6, 2011 for the Nintendo DS. 2011 also marked the launch of the new Nintendo 3DS handheld, ushering in an era of glasses-free 3D gaming on the go. While the main Pokemon game series would stick with the original DS system a little bit longer, that's not to say Pokemon wasn't quick to jump into the third dimension. Through its lifespan, the Nintendo 3DS became home to a wide collection of new entries for returning Pokemon spin-off games, including Pokemon Rumble Blast, 
Pokemon Rumble World, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity, and Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. It would also eventually become home to a brand new Pokemon spin-off game, Detective Pikachu. On October 7th, 2012, Pokemon Black and White became the first and only games to date in the Pokemon main game series to receive direct sequels, Pokemon Black and White 2. Despite the successful launch of the Nintendo 3DS a year prior, Black and White 2 released on the original Nintendo DS system just like their predecessors. With the global launch of Generation 6, 72 new Pokemon arrived, from Chespin to Volcanion. On August 29, 2013, Pokemon made its way to the dead-on-arrival Nintendo home console, the Wii U, in the form of Pokemon Rumble U. The flop of a home console didn't see another Pokemon title until the release of Pokemon Tournament about three years later. Pokemon Tournament was developed by the team behind, and largely based upon, the Tekken fighting game series. The Wii U saw only those two Pokemon games through its entire painful lifespan. On October 12, 2013, the first main series games of the sixth Pokemon generation launched on the Nintendo 3DS handheld, Pokemon X and Y. X and Y represented the first time in Pokemon's main game series that the release date synced up worldwide. The games also introduced 3D graphics for the first time in the main series, obviously playing to the gimmick of the 3DS handheld. On November 21st, 2014, the Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire games debuted in North America for the Nintendo 3DS. The games were another set of enhanced remakes, this time revisiting the Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire games from the Game Boy Advance era. On July 6, 2016, the augmented reality mobile game Pokemon Go launched around the world. The free-to-play game became a cultural phenomenon overnight and brought Pokemon into the real world for the first time ever using the player's cell phone camera. On November 18th, 2016, Generation 7 kicked off with the release of the Pokemon Sun and Moon games for the Nintendo 3DS. The seventh generation of Pokemon contributed another 88 species, from Rowlet to Melmetal, bringing the grand total to 809. Sun and Moon were the latest entries in the main Pokemon game series, and their launch marked Pokemon's 20th anniversary. The year 2017 then brought the end of the Nintendo 3DS era. November 17th, enhanced versions of the Pokemon Sun and Moon games were released worldwide, titled Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, bringing the Nintendo 3DS era of Pokemon games to a close. In the spirit of reboots and celebrating the illustrious history of the Pokemon game franchise, however, the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games released on November 16th, 2018 for the Nintendo Switch hybrid home console. The games were remakes of the Pokemon Yellow game from all the way back on the Game Boy Color. Aside from revisiting the roots of the main game series, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee marked the first time a game in the main series was released on a home console. As for mobile games, Pokemon Quest released for the Nintendo Switch and on mobile devices in the summer of 2018. Pokemon Rumble Rush and Pokemon Masters EX, originally just Pokemon Masters, released for mobile devices in the summer of 2019, but none of them would ever become as popular as Pokemon Go. That holiday season on November 15th, 2019, the next installments of the main game series, Pokemon Sword and Shield, arrived for the Nintendo Switch worldwide, ushering in the 8th and final Pokemon generation to date. Generation 8 features 91 new species of Pokemon, from Grookey to Calyrex. On March 6, 2020, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX released worldwide, also for the Nintendo Switch. Rescue Team DX was a remake of the original two Rescue Team games from the Nintendo DS and Game Boy Advance. In 2021, Pokemon celebrated its 25th anniversary. Along with a variety of real-life concert events and special announcements, the anniversary was also celebrated appropriately with the launch of some exciting new games. 
On April 30th, 2021, new Pokemon Snap arrived on the Nintendo Switch as a long-awaited and largely unexpected sequel to the beloved original Pokemon Snap game on Nintendo 64. On July 21st, 2021, Pokemon Unite released for the Nintendo Switch, and later for iOS and Android devices on September 22nd. Unite is a multiplayer online battle arena game, or MOBA for short, a genre made popular by games like League of Legends. It represented the first MOBA game in the Pokemon franchise, boasting 5 on 5 strategic team battle gameplay. On November 19th, 2021, main series remakes Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl released for the Nintendo Switch, marking the latest remakes in the franchise and the second round of remakes on the Nintendo Switch console, this time revisiting the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl games from the Nintendo DS. Being one of the most iconic Nintendo franchises, Pokemon characters have of course appeared in all kinds of other games as well including, famously, the Super Smash Bros. franchise. The Pokemon franchise also lent itself to a variety of puzzle games and lesser-known spin-offs through the years, like Pokemon Puzzle League, Pokemon Cafe Mix, Pokemon Pinball, and many more. The Pokemon trading card game is perhaps more popular than ever. Meanwhile, the Pokemon anime television series is on to its 24th season, with no signs of slowing down either. In total, there have been 24 feature-length Pokemon films to date, including the 2019 live-action summer blockbuster Detective Pikachu, starring Ryan Reynolds as the voice of Pikachu. On January 28, 2022, Pokemon Legends Arceus released for the Nintendo Switch. Despite being a part of the 8th Pokemon generation, the open world game serves as a prequel to much of the Pokemon franchise, with the player exploring the Hisui region in hopes of completing the first ever Pokedex. Dismissing Pokemon as just another video game series or trading card game is nearly impossible today. Pokemon is and has been a cultural phenomenon since 1996. And 25 years later, it's even more widely accessible and beloved than ever before. Pokemon aren't just pocket monsters anymore. They're video game icons and big time movie stars. They've gone from the tiniest black and white screens to the biggest and brightest silver screens. So no matter when you became a fan, whether you're a Gen 1 purist or a Gen 8 newcomer, whether you've been walking alongside Ash Ketchum since Pallet Town, or you just caught up with him in the Gala region, one thing unites us all as Pokemon fans. We want to be the very best. The best there ever was. To catch them is our true test, and to train them is our cause. Gotta catch them all. <laughs>